Ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is exactly why I don't like either political party in America, because one thing we know for certain, nobody takes responsibility for anything. They have this thing about whenever anything happens and it's in a negative light, nobody's responsible for it. I, I even seen this on jobs. If something don't pan out the way certain people that told you to do a certain thing or they wanted something done a certain way in a department and it don't turn out so good, nobody takes responsibility. Even if their signature is all over documents. Oh no, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. And nothing's ever their fault. And you see this behavior also in your politicians. You know, everybody goes to finger pointing back and forth, but at the end of the day, nobody's responsible. So this came out in Newsweek. House Republican mass shooting strategy revealed in leaked memo, blame the left, minimize white supremacy role. So this came out August 16th, 2019, ladies and gentlemen. A recently leaked memo from House Republicans show that the GOP is urging its politicians to blame recent mass shootings on the left while downplaying the role of white supremacy, according to the Tampa Bay Times, who obtained the memo. The document offers talking points to respond to common questions Republican representatives may face after the recent mass shootings. The paper describes most of the offered responses to boilerplate Republican arguments against tougher gun restrictions. However, the time spotlights the answer the memo suggests in response to the question, do you believe white nationalism is driving more mass shootings recently? White nationalism and racism are pure evil and cannot be tolerated in any form, the document said. We also can't excuse violence from the left such as the El Paso shooting, the recent Colorado shooter, the congressional baseball shooter, Congresswoman Giffords shooter, and Antifa. The El Paso shooter, identified as Patrick Crucius, killed 22 people at a Walmart. In statements to police, Crucius said he was targeting Mexicans. A manifesto linked with Crucia's post-it on 8chan ranted against the Hispanic invasion of Texas and argued for the murder of Hispanic uh, immigrants. Ladies and gentlemen, if they are coming up with these talking points, just know. This is a clear indication that they are not going to do a damn thing when it comes down to gun control. And I don't believe that's the answer anyway. I really don't. I don't believe it's the answer. This country has this thing about going after certain people when it comes down to, um, you know, racism and stuff. They won't go after certain people. They'll let them go. They have a history of doing this. So instead of doing something about what just happened, they got talking points. And I promise you, it's not going to go beyond the talking points, y'all. That's why they spent more time on doing a memo to counteract the talk of white supremacy, racism, and gun control instead of actually doing something. This is a notorious thing that politicians do all the time in this country. It never amounts to anything other than a bunch of finger pointing. And this is why I don't like either party. I really don't. I don't. We have sadly seen violence from 
ideological extreme on both sides, and that is completely unacceptable and must be condemned. Robertson told the paper, oh, wow. You know, you know, they say all of these things, but racism is very much tolerated in America, y'all. It really is. If it wasn't, you would not have seen it go on for centuries like we have. It is very much tolerated. You know, those are talking points, but these politicians don't mean none of it at the end of the day. They really don't. Robertson said the reference to El Paso was a mistake. Really? And Billy Rackus meant to refer to the Dayton, Ohio shooting, which happened hours after the incident in El Paso. Connor Betts, the alleged shooter, was reported to have protested at a Ku Klux Klan rally and was described as a democratic socialist. Betts was reportedly obsessed with death and violence, however, and made a kill list of women he wanted to murder. Though the shooter at the 2017 Congressional Baseball game was identified as a left-wing activist targeting Republicans, the other shootings named in the GOP memo have a more ambiguous connection to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is nothing but nonstop finger pointing back and forth. And this is a clear sign that nothing is going to ever be resolved as far as mass shooting is concerned. I believe eventually it's going to be the public that's going to make the most effective move when it comes down to mass shooting, it's going to take people out in the public. When these people go on their shooting rampage, they're going to take their weapons out and just kill them. Because you can see, depending on the face of the shooter, the cops are going to come out there and they ain't going to do shit. Okay. And, uh, but walk them kindly to the police squad car and put them in. But, Somebody unarmed is such a threat that they got a pile on that person 10 deep. You know, it, it makes no, the whole thing, you're not going to make sense out of this system. You really not. You know, it's so corrupt, you're never going to make sense out of it. Politicians are never going to be the answer in resolving mass shootings. It's going to be the public to resolve it. You watch. As soon as people out in the public rise up and start killing these mass shooters, then all of a sudden, Congress will jump into action. But prior to then, you're not going to see no action from these people. You're not going to see nothing from them. You're not. They're going to let everything just flow right along as we've been seeing it forever. I mean, they are not coming up with anything that's going to change the situation. And for very obvious reasons why they're not going to do anything, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. Rep Gifford is a Democrat. And the shooting in that instance was determined to be paranoid about government in general. His politics were mixed between right and left and not believed to be a factor according to an investigation by law enforcement. The Colorado incident this May is also believed to not have been motivated by politics. Conservative commentators have downplayed the connection between recent shootings and white supremacy. Fox News host Tucker Carlson was placed on leave after calling white supremacy a hoax, which is laughable. Tucker, there's too much history <laughs> for you to try to pull that one off. Trump official Kellyanne Conway defended Carlson, saying that white supremacy received outsides coverage 
Well, I don't know what the hell that means, Kellyanne, but, you know, it's too much history for you and Tucker to be arguing about something that can easily be proven. But ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. I think politicians ain't worth shit. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.